Thanks for joining us. Our big story on 12 News at 6, Gilbert Public Schools Governing Board is meeting after they announced that more than 152 educators are being laid off. And the reason, a drop in student enrollment. Teachers from Gilbert and other neighboring districts have shown up to support the staff members who are losing their jobs. Team 12's Colleen Sakura is live for us outside that meeting. And Colleen, a drop in enrollment isn't unique to this one district, right? Yeah, that's right. The state districts across the state saw tens of thousands of fewer students this year, which is why concern expressed over Gilbert's reduction in force goes back to state funding. 152 educators certified staff at Gilbert Public Schools won't have a contract next year. It's just gut wrenching. Amber Franco, president of the Gilbert Education Association, says the pandemic has taken a toll. I don't think the district has took this lightly at all. Um, I think it was um, some effects of, of the pandemic. Gilbert Public Schools says they lost 1,600 students this year. They're not alone. Peoria Unified saw a 6% drop in enrollment. Deer Valley Unified, an 11% drop. In a video on YouTube, the superintendent of Cave Creek Unified School District saying their enrollment dropped by 400 students this year. The district is facing a potential budget shortfall in fiscal year 2022 of approximately $4.1 million which represents a budget reduction of over 11%. Here's why it's happening. The districts get money for each student they teach. Based on the most recent enrollment reports across the state, public school enrollment went down by 38,550 students this year compared to last year. The drops likely to kids going to charter schools, homeschooling, or parents delaying kindergarten. Regardless, fewer students means less money. Using the average amount the state spent per student, a 38,000 student drop in enrollment accounts for about $246 million. That does not include extra funding schools might get for students with special needs. I am concerned. Franco worried about her fellow teachers in districts across Arizona. I hope that I'm, that I'm not right, but this is the only beginning. Now, teachers and parents here in the district have expressed concerns over how it was decided who would be laid off. We are expecting to hear how those decisions were made in the meeting that's happening right now. Franco also added, though, the GEA will be making sure this reduction in force was done correctly. We're live in Gilbert. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Colleen, thanks.